Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob Stan here for Nonstop Naples and Southwest Florida Television. I met the lady from Haiti down on Fifth Avenue South. This morning, we're going to talk to the owner, Melody Bales, and hear a little bit about her interesting story, her time spent in Haiti, why she opened this store. Let's take a walk inside. And see where she's at. Some of the colorful artwork here on the walls. Melody can tell us how these are all made. She's hiding from me. There she comes, sneaking up behind me. Hi, Rob. How are <laughs> Good you? Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Wow. Good to see you again. Yeah. You've got some interesting stories to share. I mean, your, your background <laughs> in Haiti it started a long time ago. It did. In uh, 1984, I began teaching school in Haiti. Wow. For an American style school. We had a, a really wonderful school full of pre K through high school. And it was for the uh, children of diplomats from other countries, since Port au Prince is a capital city, and for a wealthy Haitian section of the country, and for the uh, American businessmen who had kids there before the embargo kind of ruined the businesses. Mm -hmm. And then one thing led to another, and I adopted my daughter from there. Tell, tell us a little bit about that, that whole adoption process. I know it took, a, it took a, quite a while. Oh, yeah. And that's it's Rachel, right? Crazy. Rachel yes. is her name. Rachel, Queen of Haiti. Queen. She is my daughter. That she is, by the way, she is the real lady from she Haiti. Is, yes. People think you're the lady from Haiti, but no, Rachel they're, they're is the real. They're always surprised We have a picture me. up front, too. We can see that. Sure, too, you want right? to see yeah. it? Yeah. All so right. Tell us, tell us um, about that adoption process. How you went about doing it. How did you meet Rachel? How well, her you... biological mom was about to have a child within a couple of weeks and she was not able to keep the child because she was um, financially n not independent and couldn't uh, feed or clothe or educate. There's a lot of people in Haiti are. Right, I mean, she sadly. was in the situation that a lot of ha ha Haitians are in. And Rachel was not the first baby that she gave oh, away. But so I was sad. fortunate because it worked out and her bio mom has found us on Facebook because I gave her my card. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. I said, if you ever want to know what became of this baby that you're giving me, here's my card. So she's looked at things, and in her, her way, in broken English sometimes, she says, I like beautiful family, love you, and things like that. So beautiful. I know that she knows that she provided a chance for her daughter. Absolutely. And Rachel was given to me when she was one month old by your bio mom and all the documents were signed that day mm -hmm. I had to hurry home from Haiti after I met the bio mom and had taken her to get a sonogram and everything and, and knew that everything was good before Rachel was born but I had to hurry home and do the the FBI check fingerprinting background check all that home study so I didn't meet Rachel until she was a month old oh, wow. but I always tell her that I met her before she met me because I saw her sonogram. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. That is, I mean, that's got to be so hard for mom to give up. I didn't child. think she would do it. I mean, I just I can't really imagine. Didn't. I just said, but, well, I'm going to go home and start the home study, and I don't think that you're really going to do this. But if you do, I'm all in. And it and turned called out. called me the day, out, she, yeah. the day she was born. It turned I out said, to be a beautiful, beautiful story. Where's her picture? Here? Let's see. Oh, there's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a cute little one of Rachel. <laughs> yeah. How old was she there? Um, I think she was maybe two or three. Oh, they gave her a feather duster to keep her busy. So she <laughs> looks like the real queen of Haiti that she was oh, with her, her royal crown and scepter. Oh boy, there's, this, there's when she was little. Mm -hmm, this oh was boy. a little tiny thing and, and sitting beside a piece of Haitian art. Wow. This is in her room she calls Toyland and of course it's decorated with Haitian art. That was cover of Naples Daily News. Really? When I brought her to town, they did a story about international adoptions. 
Wow. And this is a few years ago. We went to a mother daughter Mad oh, Hatter. Look at her now. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a mother daughter Mad Hatter tea party at Bramble's Tea Room down the street. And uh, it was a make your own hat contest. She got second place, and we won theater tickets. Wow. Well, she and grew a, up to be a beautiful lady. <laughs> and she's a very beautiful spirit. I got so lucky with oh. so little notice that I was going to be a mom. <laughs> and I've been flying by the seat of my pants. Wow. This was in high school. Oh, wow. <laughs> And I tried asking her to be a model when she was little. She did not love that. She but didn't I, want to be a model? No, and I kept saying, with a face She's like that, looks, why yeah. should I work so She's hard? She's got the looks to be a model. She's not that Shame kind of you, person. Rachel. <laughs> you know, I'm proud of her, actually, because she doesn't care about her looks. She hears every day how beautiful she is. But she has her degree now in marine science, and she is the... Um, biologist at Call Your Mosquito Control. Oh, really? So we can all thank the lady from Haiti for keeping uh, our mosquito population down. Maybe I could twist her arm. I'd love to go for a ride in one of those helicopters one day. <laughs> she that, has she has done that. That looks like so much fun. I see them spraying the beach when I'm out there in the morning. Really? Yeah, just, just below the trees sometimes. <laughs> that looks like fun. Well, she has really done a lot. She has accomplished a lot in her life. She has. It's and so then, nice that you gave her that opportunity. Yeah, it's been uh, 26 years now. Rachel's, I've been doing the business 26 years. Rachel's 26 and a half, oh. and she's not interested in retail. She's, uh, you know, very happy with her job, and sweet. I'm very happy she's got a great job. Yep, that is sweet. And uh, it's just time to close the store. You know, mm. things have changed. Yeah, what made you decide that? What made you decide to close the store? Well, 20, number one, I'm no spring chicken. Eh, none of us are. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> 20, 26 years? Uh -huh. And business. I adopted her when I was over 42. So wow. you can do the math. Yeah, you got your hand. You had your and hand it's time for me to go home, uh, rest, relax. You had two relax. babies, a baby and a store. <laughs> I did, and unfortunately, the store was the first priority so that I could take care of us both because I was a single mom. Wow. And then the other thing is that the rents have just continued to go up. It's oh, actually yeah. increased about tenfold on Fifth Avenue from when Rachel was t uh, four years old. Holy smoke! That's when I started down the street, and I've moved around a lot on Fifth. Well, I remember, I remember when we had visitors television, you were on Third, I think you were down on Third. Third street, Avenue third, North, that was my Avenue, very yeah, first third. store, and she was in her playpen. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. <laughs> that was like the, the mid-90s when right, we were doing that. Right. Yeah. She was born in 92, in 93 I opened the store, and I used to put the playpen out front when it was a cool enough day, <laughs> and I could watch her through the through the glass window. And she'd be on the edge of the playpen just watching people go by. <laughs> and I know people looked at th that little baby in the playpen going, where is the mother? <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, so we made it. We both made it. So what? Hello. Hi. Tell us what made you open this store? Why did you, what? Why did you decide to start collecting all these beautiful items? And, and from what I've read, you were started. You were selling them out of the trunk of your car. Did I read that? Yeah, Is yeah. that how you started? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was so exhausted because I was dragging around boxes of merchandise. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that it was beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to live in Haiti, aside from the fact that it was a Caribbean island and I could speak French there. So then uh, the artwork also kind of drew me to Haiti. And I decided, well, now I've got this little baby and I need to do something to represent the best about Haiti on her behalf because I knew sometimes Haiti was getting a lot of, a lot of bad press. That was during the days of boat people sinking and Guantanamo Bay uh -huh. and political upheaval and it was crazy. It was. There was I also an embargo days. against Haiti back yeah. then and I didn't want Rachel to grow up with any complexes about her roots culture. I wanted her to grow up with pride about her roots culture. So I said, well, if I loved it, I'm gonna make her know it, and other people love it too. And that's what I've been doing all these years. Wow. And I finally decided I had to stay put and get a store because I was so exhausted <laughs> dragging all that stuff around one I day. I can imagine. I left the boxes up at the Pavilion Shopping Center after I had fed the baby, changed her diapers, everything, uh -huh. I got back home t to where I live in the southern part of Naples and went, oh my gosh, my merchandise is not here <laughs> oh, with no. the rest. So, of course, I drove back up and it was gone. There were beautiful things in oh, there. Oh, no. And oh, that's I when I said, I've got to stop yeah. schlepping and stay in one spot. <laughs>
get the show off the road and into a store. Yeah, well, take this show up. Well, tell us, tell us about some of this artwork. I know, I, I love these steel sculptures. I mean, those That's are so neat. That's my favorite. Yeah, they, we had, you had some pictures, didn't you, where they come from? Yes. These, this is one of the artists here. Who is this that? This is one of the artists. This is uh, Daniela saint -Hilaire. And he is uh, making a piece of art from a steel drum using just a cold chisel and a ball peen hammer. You can wow. see that hammer, oh, it's a, yeah, a faded there, picture yeah. from being so old. Yeah, There's the you can better. really mm -hmm. good look at it there. And here are the drums. Yep, and this is, these are the oil drums that they yep. recycle mm -hmm. into these beautiful, it's just amazing, these beautiful pieces of art. Right. So there's the art form of sculpting, which is the chiseling, uh -huh. and then the art form of painting. They'll take a chiseled piece, a uh -huh. beautiful chiseled piece. So that's a raw piece. That's a raw piece. Mm -hmm. And then paint it. And, and people are always surprised when they find yeah, out that these are 55 gallon drums. It is amazing. How heavy are they? Oh, they're not, not too heavy. No. They're very portable too for suitcases. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. The best part is they're half off now. Half off. <laughs> I'm leaving in actually 17 days. When are you locking the doors for the last time? May 31st. May 31st. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a sad day. It is. It's going to be a sad, bittersweet day. I'm looking forward to going home and icing and elevating a bad knee replacement oh, that I'm I had sorry three and a half that. years ago. And I've been working on it all this time. So it's time to get out the pain meds, take care of myself better. I'll be missing it though, because you know, I've had so much fun. It's so much fun to sell these things because they make people smile. Oh, absolutely. They're colorful. I mean, and you're helping such a depressed yeah. group of people. Yeah. I mean, the, the Haitians just seem to have the worst luck. I mean, not just political. I mean, the weather, they're always getting hit mm -hmm. by hurricanes. I mean, every time you turn around, they're so sad. speaking, they're in a bad yeah. place. And they're so talented. They I are. mean, they are, they are such they talented such, people. Yeah, yes. Such I mean, uh, happy this, pieces. <laughs> there's some pretty big pieces here, too. This is one of my favorites because it's dimensional. This oh, yeah. This is the third or fourth generation now. Neat. And the first generation was doing everything very flat and without so much detail. So now they actually know to sign Look at them. before they weren't signing. Ah. And then they uh, add some other things on. That signature and they can't look at it, isn't it? Kind of see it there, yep. That is neat. And this was a steel drum, isn't that gorgeous? That would grace anybody's huh, lanai right. or kitchen. And we have plant steaks. Ah, and we have right. paper mache, believe it or not. Oh, the wow. paper mache pieces are made from recycled cement bags. Really? Yes, they use a heavy duty craft paper, a brown paper, so, um, for the cement bags. And then when the cement powder is emptied out of it, that they is recycle. really cool. <laughs> that is neat looking. Huh. How about a big kiss? <laughs> so they're good uh, uh -huh. hanging. That's why they're dangling here. They can hang or they can be set on a table or a shelf. That is neat. Now everything, is it marked half off or you take half off no, of what it's marked? Is, nothing is remarked. Okay, so, so you, you take half price. off. So if this is $44, it's $22. Yes, we Perfect. do half so off So everything cash. is half off. Cash or check, and a credit card is uh, 45% off. Okay, 45% off with credit card, 50% off for cash or And we check. do have some paintings left from Ernest oh. Billy Zare. He was the artist who was discovered out in Immokalee by... Uh, Pick one up so we can get a nice look at it. A and local again. doctor's wife discovered him. And they adorned her husband's office for a while, and then um, the gentleman who owned the mole hole saw them. Ralph and what were their, what were their Ralph names? Polo and I forget. Jack the was Jack. Jack. Ralph yeah. and Jack. We, mm -hmm. they were one of our customers too, clients at Visitors Television. They managed to get him into the Wall Street Journal. Wow. And after that, it was crazy for Ernest. He made a lot of paintings and sold a lot fast. And then they had the art store, the gallery they opened up too. Right, yeah, right. I forget what the name of that was. Yeah. I think it was the gallery. This, old day, this is the old days. <laughs> gallery One, I think it was. That's it. Yep, okay. Gallery One. And now here's another example of how they've taken the art form to a new level. This is, is dimensional. Very neat. And I love the fact that the banana leaves look just like the real banana leaves that grow. They're notched like that. Just, you know, nature does that as the wind blows them and cracks them. Yep. 
That is really neat. It's hard to get the three dimensions here. I gotta kind of look, look down on it. That is beautiful. The banana tree. All right, cool. That is awesome. <laughs> You told me a little something there. I'm going to let it seep it out. You said you put another order in for some more artwork. <laughs> even though you're going out of I'm business. Crazy. Well, no, it's all here now. Is it but here? Even though I thought I should stop ordering, it was moving so fast because it's been such a popular place for right. so many years. Right. That people always want one last thing before it's not here anymore. And it was getting empty, and I was staring at white walls going, well, I'm paying this crazy rent on Fifth Avenue, and I've got another month to go. <laughs> it moved so fast, luckily. So I ordered more. And it happened again, but this and is it, it happened again. And this is it now. This when is it's it. gone, it's gone. It's gone. And you're not going to, nobody can call you and get special orders? You're not, not unless I, them? unfortunately, had to pack it and put it into my garage. <laughs> my goal is to pack nothing. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? A there, little bit there are so of painted as here. well as painted steel drum. And it's not just artwork. You still have some handbags here, right? Some handbags. Jewelry? Do you have any jewelry? I do you have a little bit of jewelry. Oh, excuse me. This is a great thing that I only just recently found. These are called NV bags, which means environmental bags. Okay. And they fit. When, they're, when you're not using them, they fold back up into this little pouch. And they are very convenient for carrying around in your car before you go to the that beach. That thing fits in this little pouch. Mm -hmm. You see over there? Ha! Look at this. That's funny. So see that bag there? Mm -hmm. That bag is and, in there. And, and that's to <laughs> try to be a little more conscious about our environment and not use so much plastic absolutely. because our seas are suffering. Oh, absolutely. I think I just read recently that one of the deepest places in the deepest trench they no, found plastic. They found a plastic bag. Unbelievable. Doesn't and then they surprise come in backpacks me. But... Too. And, the, and not only are they um, compact, they're gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Nice. And something for the kids. <laughs> Very cool. So these are backpacks. And then from here over, uh huh, those are the they're bags. for the library or the beach or the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, wherever. <laughs> or just dragging your stuff around. I'm a bag lady, so I love it. <laughs> a bag lady. And look at these bags here. A few here. more backpacks left. Backpacks. Backpacks and purses. A few more hats. Sun hats. This is seagrass. Oh, I wow. Love this. It smells wonderful. That is neat. Seagrass. Oh, and then one of the best sellers over here, especially at half off, uh -huh. me, are these sarongs. Ah, they ladies. They 26, and now they're down to 13. And they make gorgeous gifts. They're six feet long. And they come with a little description of how to tie them in various styles. Okay. <laughs> and then um, this little piece here is a coconut shell. Oh, and that's neat. also used for tying at the hip. Just to thread it through that. You still have quite a few of these left here. Yeah. But sometimes at this price, people will buy oh, four yeah, they're or gonna, five. They're because gonna disappear fast. They will. This You're would right. be one thing I might have to reorder. <laughs> Uh-oh, shame on you. <laughs> I know, I can't stop. <laughs> Look at that purse. Wow. Look at that bag. That's by a pretty famous artist, Laurel Birch. Normally she's known for her cats and a few dogs once in a while. Wow. And horses very infrequently. But I have a couple of her pieces okay. left. Nice. And we've got the head huggers, also made in Bali. These fabrics are from Bali. Bali, okay. More of the unpainted pieces. This is called the Heart of Hearts. The Heart and, of Hearts. Look at all the hearts. And I have it in three sizes. Oh, so neat. half off 74 on a piece like that is really a good bargain. Oh yeah, the heart of hearts. This That's is for neat. keys. Had it's been 22, yeah. it's now 11. And My this goodness. is the, the peace tree. This piece had been oh, yeah. in the Smithsonian this Magazine the in their gift section of the magazine. Even they were helping There's out the Haitian great people. stuff still here. Oh yeah, I mean all of this it's not gonna stuff not going to last long. <laughs> There's After people watch this parts. video, you're going to be cleaned out. That would <laughs> you're going to be, be putting an, another big order in. You're never going to get out of here. You understand that. <laughs> you're That's just a scary dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be here forever. You know, I still dream about it. Even yeah. when I'm not here at night, I'm dreaming that I'm writing oh, a receipt or talking to somebody. I mean, this mm -hmm. is your life. And the, I'm really going to miss the nice people that I've met. And I have learned so much from customers. I write down a whole list of books and movies and various things I need to check out and their dogs. I have so many cute dogs that have been coming in here <laughs> over the years. Oh my gosh, I have a collection of dog pictures on my phone. 
Sometimes they're all dressed up. Last <laughs> week, a little dog came in in a pink outfit and a little sombrero hanging off her side. <laughs> well, those are, I know our dogs, those are like our replacement children, you know, when the kids are all gone. Now we got the dogs. And yeah. I shouldn't say this, but I think sometimes we treat them better <laughs> than we treat them. Because they don't kids. talk back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so I'm a dog. Free to wander around and take a well, look tell at us. I, I got one last question. Yes, sir. Do you have any plans to go back to Haiti? Not anything definite. Not definite. At some point, I might go down. There's a group of nuns I've just been speaking to lately that are doing some kind of micro financing. Uh, for some Haitian women in a very remote area, which means basically for people that don't already know what that is, they get a very small loan. Most of the women in the village that are needy, and mm -hmm. they always are all needy. And then there's the pressure of the other women to make money, pay back the loan so that they can all get another loan. It's not a successful story unless everybody pays back, but they're taught how to manage money, how to to try to um, make an investment mm -hmm. either in, in some jams or preserve something that they can grow like mangoes and, and put it in jars and sell it. Other kinds of things. Embroidery. They're beautiful embroidery uh, pieces from Haiti. All kinds of different things. And then um, with the money they make, they can buy a goat maybe or a pig. Definitely send mm -hmm. their kids to school. They have to have a uniform when they go to school or they can't go. Oh, wow. They really want to educate their kids, and it's primarily a matriarchal society. So it's up to these women, and they're hardworking, and so sweet and humble and gracious and thankful for the opportunity that it's become a oh, success. Absolutely. I know a, a friend of mine, Barbara Grove, she started an organization called Mothers of Haiti, and they it's to give these loans. Mm -hmm. And when she told me the amount of money, I was shocked. The, it was under $50 right. that changes these people's lives. Right. It turns their lives around, less than $50. $50 is more than, than they'll see in a month. You couldn't even go to, <laughs> to lunch here on Fifth Avenue for $50. <laughs> Maybe dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Barbara is one of the people that I know that does oh, that. Oh, do, you do there know Barbara. Lot, She's a good friend. There are a lot of people that are doing that microfinancing. I met her on the beach with her shells. She brings her seashell collection out to the beach and talks about seashells. When she's she, down here. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. She's a vo she volunteers up at, in North Naples at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Really? Yep. Oh, cool. Yep. So. She brings the shells to the beach. Yep. That's funny. She brings her, a little bit of her shell collection every time she comes out. And then people, whatever they pick up, they ask her questions what it is. She's oh, a great that's person. That's so funny. Yeah. She's a very gregarious lady. That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. No. Because she's no spring chicken either. No, none of us are. <laughs> But we live in Naples, <laughs> you know. We and we're fit, all the we're, same. We fit basically. right in here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe how many people. If I mention my knee, I get their version of what happened. Oh, to absolutely. Almost yeah. seventy-five percent of them. <laughs> yep. So, the sale. The, the, you're going to close the doors the end of the month, the last right. day of this month. Probably two days early because I have to return the space the way it was when I got it, which was just bare walls and a floor. Mm-hmm. All right, and so half we'll off, have to dismantle half off of everything till the doors close and there's still some great items there and there's and some great big ones too let yeah, me there, show yeah you. i was well, can you see a, the big ones outside yeah let's go outside that's 55 there's a huge drum. gecko back there on the back wall that's big man that's big <laughs> what else what else is what do we got outside well, we got a three-dimensional crab here oh look at that and that's neat three-dimensional turtles that's the large one. We have it in small. Very neat. And little turtles. Look at that. All the little turtles there. <laughs> are these, what are these made those are of? Those are oh, those are Peru. Oh, bobbleheads. Those are for the kids because I, I have uh, so many kids in here that neat. think it's a Little bobblehead. Yeah. They think, what? No toys? So That's cool. Have and then these are finger puppets. I still have a few left for the Couple little kids. Little finger puppets. Mm -hmm. This is how I get the baby's attention when the parents are looking around. <laughs> I get the kids that are fussing to stop. That's cute. And these are three last Christmas ornaments. Oh, Shoe shine wow. kits made from paper mache. Again, the recycled cement bags. Wow. <laughs> Why the cement bags? What, what, they have an abundance of cement bags in Haiti? Or? Well, anytime a Haitian makes money, they want to buy cement as well as something to feed their families because that way they can start 
making a home, a real home. Wow. It's better than the bank. Wow. So they buy cement and they wow. start building. You'll find a lot of just partially built walls. Because uh -huh. otherwise what... it's tin and cardboard for a lot of people. It's too bad. But yep, that is. Cement is a sign of being able to progress. Wow. So out here we have... Uh, Oh, yeah. The stingray. Oh, stingray. Yeah, that's neat. I got this mostly because of uh, the school that my daughter went to. She was lucky enough to be on a scholarship, a partial scholarship at Seacrest Country Day School. And their uh, the mascot is it's stingrays. The stingrays, yep. yep. That's neat. That's really colorful. Here's another one. I think these colors are really nice. It's... Uh, both okay. painted and unpainted, yep. and it can go either way. I nice. think it goes this way. This is a beautiful one. And it's oh, wow. Favorite. The sea life pieces. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The detail is just incredible. And to think they just use a hammer and chisel. Yeah, yeah and it's, you can't tell uh, on a video, but it's got nice texture to it. It does. These bumps on the, on wow. the uh, seaweed. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank you for letting uh, the rest of the people that haven't yet been here know about yeah, this I store. hope they come down and take advantage of this before it's gone. Some really great stuff. And I hope so, too. We wish you the best of luck here in your thank future you. endeavors. I know you're not going to be able to just sit still at home. Yeah. No, I'm not going to sit still. That's not me. But I do want to thank everybody that's helped throughout these last... 26 years. 26 years. Wow. In this case, it's true. It took a village to raise this child. Absolutely. You did a Rachel wonderful Bales. job. You did a wonderful job. We're going to like, miss you. I like to think so. Going to miss the lady from Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melody. Thank you very All much. All right. Take care. All right. God bless. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed this. Look at the lady from Haiti. What an interesting story. You can go ahead in there. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you later. Come on down and pay her a visit here. She's at 612 Fifth Avenue South. The lady from Haiti. Look for all those colorful art sculptures out in front. And don't forget to check out Nonstop Naples. Visit our website. Download our free app. On our app, you'll find rewards to some of our favorite restaurants. You'll find out where the happy hours are, the best happy hours in town, local music. All kinds of wonderful things. Beaches, hotels, shopping. Download the free Nonstop Naples app. And if you have a business here in town and you're not on the Nonstop Naples app, if you're not on our app, you're missing out. If you want to get on our app, send us a text message, send us a personal message, and we'll give you all the details on how you can become a part of the Nonstop Naples family. The lady from Haiti. Thanks for tuning in. For Nonstop Naples and Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.